What is going on, guys? I hope you can hear me. We've got the 240 running because we're going to take her for a drive and see what happens. So I've been letting her run for a little bit, just letting her warm up. And we're at about running temperature, so we should be good to go. I checked everything, tightened everything, took all the crap and stuff out of the 240. Uh, peep the plate, you know, improvise, adapt, overcome. you got to get this on the road. I mounted temporary my little rear view camera, it's just zip tied there just so I at least have it for now. I had to fill up the tires. I've already moved it back and forth a little bit, making sure that the clutch does engage and it does. I guess I hope you're excited as I am. It's never easy getting in here, but it's a lot easier now that the car is lower, it's not on the jack stands. Oh, well, moving. We are moving. I need to adjust my steering wheel. Dude, you can hear the fucking turbo, holy shit, it's so loud. are iffy just because again it's, there's no tune so it it revs a little weird No idea what it's at. Dude, this turbo is something else. Oh my god. That. Oh my god, dude. It's so fucking loud. Everything is fucking crazy. The turbo is so goddamn loud. At like 1300 RPMs, it starts whistling. And um, it's still running rich because I can still see like when I stop there's still like smoke because I still have an exhaust leak on here just because I can't tighten the bottom two bolts of the uh, exhaust. So a little bit of like condensation and gas um, slips through and gets on the manifold and it steams. Other than that though, the turbo doesn't smoke. The temperature stayed pretty, pretty good, which I mean it fucking should because we didn't even go that high. The car fucking drives it it drives we we can we can drive the car so i haven't really tried to push the car really just because there's no tune and i know for a fact that the base map is kind of iffy so i don't really want to push it but as far as like just driving like it's doing pretty good for some reason though it's not really responding well when i go into fourth like it's uh bogging down i think it's because it's, it's running too lean at that point um because again the fuel table i've only adjusted while idling i haven't messed with anything while the car was running uh at least you know driving um, so I think with the added airflow of driving, it's putting more in the turbo, which is making it spin faster. So it's it's creating more boost and it's too much for the fuel map. It's not spitting enough fuel in, so that's got to be adjusted. I don't know how to do that. Or like I kind of get the idea, but I can't really do it while I'm driving. So the clutch is catching almost immediately from the floor. If here's the floor, the clutch is catching like right here. like pretty pretty close like pretty not not that far off the ground the uh, clutch is starting to catch which I mean it's fine I guess that's normal because again I've bled the clutch so many times I haven't had any clutch slip or anything so we should be fine there but yeah I'm just happy that everything works and then I got the fucking dash to work before 
this. If I didn't have the dash working, I would have to have the computer sitting next to me, and I already do, but I'm not really focusing on it. Like, it's just there just because it shows other stuff that I need to be looking at that isn't displayed on our dash. Yeah, and I need to get the speed sensor thing figured out. If you saw the last video, we uh, had some issues with that for some reason. Um, so that's got to get figured out. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to go drive it again and, and just enjoy it because it's I haven't driven this car in so long. All right, so we're going to let her warm up. And then we'll uh, once she gets to operating temperature, then we'll take her out. But it's just so nice to actually be able to start the car. Like, And then now it drives. So that's even better. Oh, this is great. Great. Good, good time. Day. What's going on guys today? We're going to be doing some testing with the 240 seeing how everything is because we don't have an actual tune or anything on the car and the uh, fuel map is sort of iffy like I did it myself and I'm not a tuner so Should be a little worried, but so far everything seems to be good um, But we had to fix some things I did off camera and uh, I'll show you that right now This is the RB and a couple of things that I did I disconnected the boost controller uh, I just took the lines off because I'm not sure I don't have it like set up or anything so I don't even know if when it's not set up if it's just open or what um, so I just took it out of the loop anyways and we just went straight from this fitting down here on the turbo to our wastegate right there and I actually forgot to tighten that v-band before um, I tightened it now so we're all good and I also tightened all the intercooler clamps because it turns out we had a boost leak. Uh, as soon as I tighten them, the car revs better. Uh, it seems to be idling better. So I'm actually gonna test out the uh, little camera for here. See how it is, because that's another reason why I chose to get this, apart from it also having a backup camera. So let's see how it is. And I've also got that guy right there. He's going to be shooting mainly the blow-off valve because I want to see if the blow-off valve is actually opening. Uh, so let's see how it goes and I mean I've driven like that yesterday so I hope that we're good but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. This weekend has been crazy. Like, the car drives. Like, everything is amazing on it. And it shoots flames, which which is pretty cool. The little baby ones right now, but 
So you might be thinking that I'm driving the car too hard or something, but I've the most that I have revved the car out to has been uh, like 4,800, I think is the highest. And I'm making like 12 and a half, 13 pounds boost right there, which is where I want to be for now. I'm not going any higher, and I've only done that maybe five or six times. So I'm not doing it all the time. Um, I'm not trying to damage the motor or anything. I'm not trying to push it too hard. I'm getting up to there and immediately letting off and shifting um, or just letting it off and then have, letting it come back down. I'm not damaging the car, nothing, everything's fine. Working with the tuner to get a dyno day set up so we can get that going, that would be sweet. She's ready for the dyno, I mean, there's nothing else that needs to be done as far as how the car runs. I need to get a hood for sure, but um, probably get that after dyno day. I don't know yet, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so the swap is almost done, like, it's crazy. Literally, just about a year ago, like the end of February of 2018, is when the KA broke on me and then in March or May, I got the RB, one of those months, one of the M months. I mean, it was a slow process because we barely got it running a couple weeks ago, but I mean, it's been worth it. Like everything so far has been great. Ever since it got running, everything has been easy. Like everything has gone smoothly, the motor pulls smoothly. It doesn't break up or anything. It's not like, <sighs> I think I mentioned it before, but the hood exit has a hole in it uh, from when I welded it because it was just temporary, so I didn't put like a lot of time into it. I was just like, okay, let me just make this real quick and then throw it on so we can divert the exhaust away from the valve cover because the turbo sits uh, slanted, doesn't sit straight on. And also so I can put the wide band in so we can make sure our AFR is good. So um, I am going to start making the exhaust. Um, I'm going to start practicing TIG welding stainless steel. Uh, so I can start making the exhaust. I have some of the tubes here, or the pipe, whatever you want to call it. But alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the 240. And then hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.